What up everybody? Today we got Secret Lair, Walking Dead. This is the set that uh, really pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> but uh, let's see what's in it, even though everybody probably knows what's in it. The first big uh, crossover where they actually created original cards. Some people were like, ban these EDH clan, and everybody was like, no, we literally can't do that. I mean, it is very fancy. I'm sure this means something if you gave two craps about The Walking Dead, but I really don't. So yeah, there's that. I think this is gonna be the uh, little club card. Yeah, Lucille, which is actually, I gotta say, a pretty schlapping card. Also, this one seems to have the problem that a lot of them had where it's super faded. Like, they did not do enough black eat on the text, and that's clear. So there's Lucille. And then we got our stupid little thing. Man, these are fat. Do these come in foil and non-foil? Like, what the hell? I don't remember what cards are. Oh, it's because there's a billion tokens. That's right. There's a million tokens in here. All right. So we've got... We got Rick, Steadfast Leader. We got Daryl Hunter of Walkers. I mean, I mean, if you cared about The Walking Dead, I'm sure this is sweet. Glenn, the voice of the calm. McConan, ruthless survivor. Negan, the cold-blooded. Then we got our Walker tokens. But yeah, is uh, somebody that's a fan of magic but doesn't really care about The Walking Dead, I was just kind of like, okay. In the backs. But yeah, so... Yeah, they are. The cards look nice, and they feel nice. They don't feel too pringly or anything either, now that I've opened them. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Very controversial set. Oh, watch them drip. There you go. Let me know what y'all think down below. I'm curious of your opinions on this one. And as always, have a great Thursday, and thanks for watching, y'all.